Hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to share um, this intimate time, um, you know, cleaning up. And um, I just felt just this overwhelming um, emotion. Um, and the tears just began to come. And I started feeling like, God, what is this? And I started thinking about the things that are not going right or the things that I don't have. And it really started to really, you know, get me into like a real low place. And I was like, wait, I don't have time for this. And so I reminded myself, I'm a worshiper. I love God and God loves me. And I said, my worship ministry is not going to uh, carry others pe other people through and they can't carry me through. So I immediately, I immediately switched over into the realm of worship. I mean, this feeling that came over me, it was just so overwhelming, like almost like a, a, a I, I probably had a, a, just a low, low state. And I was like, oh, what is this? And so I ain't had time to try to figure it out. I just turned it into praise and worship. And then I can allow God to really, you know, minister to me to let me know what it was that I was feeling. But I just wanted you to see that when the praise team is not around, when your pastor is not around, when your best friend is not around, you are going to have to pull on your love for God and his love for you. And I mean, if you can't say anything else, I'm telling you, pull on the love of God and just begin to call his son's name Jesus and just say, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. And I'm telling you that is is going to help you because there are going to be times that the enemy is going to come and he's going to bring all kind of crap to you. He's going to have you looking at stuff that's not going right. He's going to have you looking at all that because his goal is to take you out. But you have got to please hear me. You have got to pull on the worshiper that's on the inside of you and begin to just give God praise. Turn it into praise. No matter how you feel, no matter how overwhelming it is. I mean, this feeling that I had was like in my stomach. And I'm like, God, what is this? What is this? No, I don't have the answer to why I feel the way that I do. But I do know that when I worship God, God is then, he, he has a platform to respond to me and to just tell me what is happening, what is going on. But you're going to have to learn how to pull on the praiser in you, the worshiper in you, when no one else is around. And that is going to get you through life. Your praise is literally your weapon. And so I just wanted you to see and just ex experience this moment with me. Um, yes, I'm still the happy chick. Um, as a matter of fact, being a worshiper and depending on God and his presence, it allows me to have my moments and it allows me to move into that happy place. And so thank you for 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 watching. Just please get get in the presence of God because that's where your true happiness dwells. Um, no matter what the enemy tells you, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. If you have to say that to yourself every day, I am not a mistake. I am wonderfully and fearfully made. God loves me. And when he made me, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He knew the plan that he had for me. And I am going to live out the plan. So... Pull on the worshiper in you. Don't let the enemy defeat you because he is already defeated. God bless you. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.